Hello students, let's do simple linear equations, exercise 14c. Page number 168. Solve question 16. So let's start working this out. X minus 30% will be 30 by 100 of is into X is equal to 35. So in this we need to work out this operation first. 30 by 100 into x. So let's do that. 30 by 100 of x or into x. So now here we can cancel. I can cancel this 0 and this 0. So what do I get? 3 by 10 into x. Now 3 into x is 3x by 10. So let's write that down here. So here we have x minus 3x by 10 is equal to 35. So now we need to work out this portion here. This will be subtraction of fractions. So let's work that out then. So x minus 3x by 10 we are going to work out. Now let's give this the denominator 1. Now the LCM of 1 and 10 will be 10 itself. So 1 into 10 is 10. So x into 10. x into 10 will be 10x minus 10 into 1 is 10. So 3x into 1. 3x into 1 is 3x. So here we have 10x minus 3x that is 10 minus 3, 7, 7x by 10. So let's write that down here. 7x by 10 is equal to 35. Now that means 7x will be 35 into 10. Because we have transposed this 10 from the denominator on the left hand side to the right. So division now becomes multiplication. So now to find the value of x, we say 35 into 10 divided by 7. Because here again we have transposed 7 from the left hand side to the right. On the left hand side it's multiplication. When it came to the right it became division. So what do we have now? 35 into 10 by 7. So here we can cancel 7 and 35. 7 fives are 35. So we found the value of x here. x will be 5 into 10. 5 tens are 50. So that is our answer. x is equal to 50. Question 17. So here on the left hand side we have two fractions which we need to work out first. So let's do that. x plus 4 by 2. So I've written both the fractions here. Now I need to find the LCM of the denominators. As you can see, the denominators are two prime numbers, 2 and 3. And the LCM of two prime numbers is just the product of those two numbers. So here the LCM will be 2 into 3, 6. So I'm going to use this as the common denominator. Now 2 into 3 is 6. That means I need to multiply the numerator also by 6. In the numerator, we have x plus 4. So I need to multiply this by 3. Now when I multiply this by 3, I have to be careful. First multiply with x and then with 4. So 3 into x will be 3x plus 3 fours are 12. Now let's go to the second fraction. 3 twos are 6. So multiply x also into 2. x into 2 is 2x. So that's plus 2x. So here I'm going to add up the like terms. 3x plus 2x is equal to 5x and then I have 12 which is a constant. I can't add it up to 5x and then divide this by 6. So here I'm going to write that down as it is what we found there. 5x plus 12 plus 12 divided by 6 is equal to 7. That means 5x plus 12 will be 7 into 6. Into 6 because 6 is division here and we have transposed it to the right hand side. So here we've got 5x plus 12 equals 7 sixes are 42. Now to find the value of 5x, I'm going to say 42 minus 12 minus because we have transposed plus 12 
from the left hand side to the right hand side. Now 42 minus 12 will be 30. So 5x is equal to 30 now. 5x is equal to 30. So what do you think the value of x will be? x will be 30 divided by 5. Again, because here it is multiplication and we are transposing it to the right side, it's become division. 30 divided by 5, 5 sixes are 30. So we have found the value of x, x is equal to 6. So this is our answer. Question 18. Again here on the left hand side we have two fractions. Let's solve that first. So y plus 2 by 3 plus y plus 5 by 4. We need to work this out first. So now let's find the LCM of 3 and 4. The denominators. 3 ones are 3. We bring down 4. And then we continue with 2. 1, 2 twos are 4. Then again 2, 1 and 1. So the LCM is 3 into 2 into 2. That is 3 twos are 6. 6 twos are 12. So we have found the LCM to be 12. Now let's continue. 3 fours are 12. That means multiply the numerator also by 4. So first 4 into y. 4 into y will be 4y plus 4 into 2. 4 twos are 8. Plus, let's go to the other fraction. Now here 4 threes are 12. So multiply this whole thing by 3. So first 3 into y. 3 into y is 3y plus 3 into 5. 3 fives are 15. Now let's add the like terms. Like terms are 4y and 3y. So we get 7y. And again we have like terms 8 and 15. 8 plus 15 is 23. So we've got 7y plus 23 divided by 12. So let's do that here. 7y plus 23 divided by 12 is equal to 6. So now to find the value of 7y plus 23, we say 6 into 12. I have transposed 12 to the right hand side. So it's become multiplication. Now 7y plus 23. 7y plus 23 equals 6 into 12. 6 12 is a 72. So now to find the value of 7y, we say 72 minus 23 because we have transposed this plus 23 to the right hand side. It has become minus 23. Now let's subtract 72 and 23 minus now we borrow, so this becomes 6. 12 minus 3 is 9. 6 minus 2 is 4. So our number here is 49. So 7y is equal to 49. That means y will be 49 divided by 7 after transposing this 7, which is multiplication, to the right hand side. Now 49 divided by 7. 7 sevens are 49. So we have found the value of y. y is equal to 7. So this is our answer. Question 19. Again, the left hand side has to be worked out first. So let's do that in the working column. 3a minus 2 by 7 minus a minus 2 by 4. So we have to first find the LCM of 7 and 4. So we can start with 7 itself, 7 ones are 7 and then 4. Now I can use 2, 2, 1, I bring down 1, 2, 2s are 4, then 2, 1 and 1. So the LCM is 7 into 2 into 2. 7 twos are 14, 14 twos are 28. So let's use 28 as our common denominator and find the new numerators. So here 7 fours are 28. So let's multiply the numerator by 4. So first 4 into 3a. So 4 into 3. First the numbers 4 threes are 12. So that's 12a minus 4 twos are 8. Now let's go on to the next fraction 4 into 7. So multiply this also by 7. So we're multiplying it by 7. Now first we get 
7 into a is 7a. Now we have a minus sign before that. Let's continue to put this in brackets. 7a, then we have minus 7 twos are 14. Okay, now let's open the brackets. So we have 12a minus 8. Now remember the rule. If you see a minus sign before the bracket, the sign of all the terms inside the bracket will change. So 7a is plus 7a. It's going to now become minus 7a and minus 14 is going to become plus 14 and all this divided by 28. So now let's work on the like terms. So we have 12a minus 7a. 12 minus 7 is 5, so that is 5a. And now let's take the whole numbers. We have minus 8 plus 14. So 14 is the bigger number. It has a plus sign. So we just have to subtract by writing the plus sign. So 14 minus 8 is 6. So we have 5a plus 6 by 28. So let's write that down. 5a plus 6 by 28 is equal to 2. So now we continue. We say 5a plus 6. So we just write 5a plus 6. And on the right hand side we have 2 into 28 after transposing 28 from the left to the right side. So here 5a plus 6 is equal to 2 into 28. 28 to 2 is 56. So to find the value of 5a, we say 56 minus 6 because we are transposing plus 6 to the right hand side. So now 5a is equal to 56 minus 6 is 50. So to find the value of a, we say 50 divided by 5 because we have transposed 5 from the left hand side, which is multiplication to the right. So it's become division. 50 divided by 5, 5 tenths are 50. So we have found the value a, a is equal to 10. So this is our final answer. Question 20. So again, let's work out what is on the left hand side first. So we have 1 by 2 into x plus 5 minus 1 by 3 into x minus 2. So here we have 1 into x and 1 into plus 5. So 1 into that whole thing becomes x plus 5. It's the same thing. 1 into that plus by 2 minus, here also we have 1 into x minus 2, so that is x minus 2 by 3. Now let's find the LCM of 2 and 3. Both are prime numbers, so LCM of prime numbers is the product of the two numbers. So 2 3s are 6. Now 2 into 3 is 6, so we need to multiply this by 3. So multiply this by 3, what do we get? 3 into x is 3x. Then we multiply 3 into 5. 3 fives are 15. Similarly, on the other side, 3 twos are 6. So multiply the numerator by 2. So 2 into x. So since we have a minus sign before that, we're going to keep the brackets. 2 into x is 2x. And 2 into minus 2 is minus 4. Now we're going to open the bracket. So we have 3x plus 15. And if you have minus before the bracket, the sign of all the sign, uh, terms inside will change. So plus 2x will now become minus 2x. Minus 4 will become plus 4. Now divide all this by 6. Now let's work on the like terms. 3x minus 2x. So 3 minus 2 is 1. So that is 1x. Now let's take the numbers plus 15 and plus 4. 15 plus 4 is 19 plus 19 by 6. So let's write that down here now. So here what do we have? 1x or x plus 19 by 6 is equal to 4. So x plus 19 is equal to 4 into 6. We have transposed 6 to the right hand side. So now what do we have? We have x is equal to 4 6 are 24 minus 19. Again here also we have transposed plus 19 to the right hand side. 
So here what do we have now? X is equal to 24 minus 19, which is 5. So this is our final answer. X is equal to 5. We will stop with that for now. In our next video, we will continue from question 21 onwards. Thank you, children.